watching Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. Continuing to look at unconventional gift giving for the holidays, here's our reporter Shalon Stevens. As a kid, I had a garden out on the side yard, and then in the tree line behind the house, there was a flower that grew here. It's called Dame's Rocket, and that's kind of where my love of flowers was born. Nicole moved back into her childhood home to start a flower farm. Come springtime, about five acres of flowers will be used to provide customers and florists with flowers. But with an empty flower bed and cold temperatures, how can the flowers be used in the winter? There's an ancient art called pressing flowers. So you take these flowers that are just gorgeous and you can preserve the quality of the bloom and their beauty by pressing them. Nicole uses the pressed flowers to make ornaments and greeting cards. So what I do first is I lay it all out and see what it's going to look like. She uses Mod Podge as an adhesive for the flowers to stick. Daisies are really good to press because they are a single petal layered flower. Whereas flowers with a thicker stem like mums and roses are not preferred because they're hard to press. So the other uh, sort of ornament that I've been doing is a baking soda and baking powder mix. And she follows the same procedures as before to apply the flowers. Afterward, she uses twine to hang them. So if you're looking for a unique gift without breaking the bank, you can make someone's holiday blossom. In Boomville, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News.